Welcome back, boys and girls, to another lesson with Ms. Brown. We're going to continue our work on how to write an essay. So grab your writing books and let's begin. So I told you last time that a good essay should have five decent paragraphs. So you have to ensure that you have all the parts. Topic sentence, three supporting details at least, and a concluding sentence. So this was our topic, my favorite school subjects. This was paragraph number one. So in our essay, this would be the first paragraph. And we're talking about our three subjects that we enjoy. We're talking about reading. We're talking about art. We're talking about math. Then last time, we pulled out reading because that was our first supporting detail. And we created a paragraph about that. So we had to turn reading into a topic sentence. And then we had three details that we talked about, context clues, text features, summarizing, and then a concluding sentence. Now we're going to be on paragraph number three, and we're on supporting detail number two, so we're going to be talking all about art. So the detail I have here is art is fun because we get to be creative. So now we're going to go back to our organizing process. We're going to have to think of three reasons of how art can be created. So I have paragraph three. I'm going to write the word art, and I'm going to be thinking about three things I can say that show the art, we can be creative in art class. Okay, so for paragraph three, I wrote, I made a, drew a little umbrella this time just to help get you that visual. So being creative in art. Well, there are three things that I thought of that can help us be creative in art or someone be creative in art. So. There are different forms of art. So that means that you can do painting, you can do sculpting, um, you can use clay. So these are all different forms of art and you can be very creative with all of these. There are different techniques. You might have a blotting technique, sometimes with a sponge technique. Um, you might use acrylics and take a sharp knife and then um, kind of like slice through all of it. So there are different techniques in art as well. And last, you can use your imagination, whatever you can think up or dream up, you can put it down on paper or you can use materials to create it. So now that we have organized our thoughts, it's time to start writing paragraph three. So the first thing we have to write is a topic sentence talking about art being creative. For these paragraphs, I really just want you just to get the general idea of how to start it off. But as you get more comfortable, you can change um, your entry. You can change how you start your, your sentences off. So this is my topic sentence for art being one of my favorite subjects. So this is what I came up with. Make sure you indent, always indent your new paragraphs. Another one of my favorite subjects is art because you get to be creative. And I'm gonna have to share the reasons why. Um, just to familiarize you with new transition words and phrases, I have some new ones today. I have to begin with, I have furthermore, and the last one I have is last but not least. Did I do that right? No, I didn't. <laughs> Looking at it backwards. Last but not least. So these are going to be our transition words and phrases for today. Okay, so first thing that we have to do now is we have to write our second sentence talking about forms of art. So. I'm going to write our first sentence for um, our first supporting detail sentence for forms of art. Okay, so this is the sentence that I came up for supporting detail number one. So, to begin with, we learn about new forms of art like drawing, painting, and crafts. Okay, so we have two sentences. Next, we're going to supporting detail number two. Just to remind you, we're going to be talking about techniques, different techniques. So I'm going to use a new transition word, furthermore, and I know that these are new words for you, but this is great so you can get comfortable using them correctly. Okay, so we have furthermore, so you get my black marker, make sure you always put a comma after your transition. Okay, so I came up with furthermore in art, you get to try techniques you have never done before. So I have our third sentence. This is supporting detail number two that I stretch into a sentence. Furthermore, in art, you get to try techniques you've never done before. And our last supporting detail sentence, we're going to be talking about using your imagination. So the transition I'm going to use is last 
but not least, and we're going to be talking about imagination. So this is the sense I came up with. Last but not least, comma, art lets you explore your imagination and express yourself. So whatever you're thinking, you can put it down on paper. You can use materials to create it. Okay, supporting so detail number three. Last but not least, comma, art lets you explore your imagination and express yourself. All right, so we're not done yet because we need our closing or concluding sentence. We need to tie everything up. Okay, so basically, we're trying to say our topic sentence in a different way. So this is what I came up with. These are a few of the reasons why art is so enjoyable. That's it. And there we have the closing sentence. These are just a few of the reasons why art is so enjoyable. Paragraph three is done. So we have three paragraphs of our essay. I hope that this is making sense. I hope you're able to follow along. Um, let me just talk quickly about revision. Now, depending on what you put in your first paragraph, it might be kind of difficult to stretch your sentences. This is where the revision and editing piece comes back. When you have to start to expand and you say, you know what, I can't really do a whole lot with this, that's when you can go back and then fix it. Okay, so when you show me your, uh, as you sh if you show me your work as we're going along, I can actually respond to you for your actual piece of work and it will be a bit more clear versus us just being like this. All right, so this is what I want you to do. Make sure you have this paragraph copied down so you have something to refer back to. And what you're going to do is you're going to go back to your original paragraph, the very first one that we did. So we've stretched supporting detail number one into a paragraph. We've stretched supporting detail number two into a paragraph. Now, last, we need to stretch uh, supporting detail number three into a paragraph. Okay. That's what we're going to be doing next time. Okay, so next time, next lesson, we're going to be stretching um, this. This will be our paragraph number four. Yeah, that would be paragraph number four. So what I want you to do is whatever you had for your supporting detail number two, whatever you talked about second, that's what you're going to be organizing. Okay? So it will look like this. So at home, you're going to be writing paragraph three. Whatever supporting detail number two was, you're going to put it here. You're going to have to think of three things that you can talk about. And then you do a paragraph three similar to mine. Okay? So I hope that makes sense. If you ever feel like you missed a step, just go back, watch it again, and just do it step by step. All right, so thank you for joining me, and I will see you next time for part three of How to Write an Essay. Bye.